What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm here today for a very, very special video. Um, I am reviewing, as you can tell by the title, I'm reviewing Selena Gomez's brand new makeup line, Rare Beauty. Um, I just got this package yesterday, I think. Um, and it was Damien and I's anniversary yesterday, which would have been September 1st, so I didn't even like think twice. Sorry, Selena. My husband and I's relationship comes a little bit before you, but now that our anniversary is over, I'm excited to like dip in and check this out. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and dig right into this. Um, so the first, it comes with a lot of different things. You got foundations. I got three different color foundations. I think one of these should fit me. Um, should look my shit. Should be my shade. I'm thinking either this one. So one thing I want to note is that a rare beauty came out with a lot of different shades for their makeup or for the foundations and the concealers um so the liquid touch weightless foundation is 29 dollars it's a foundation elixir that feels barely there while building coverage and boosting your natural glow it's available in 48 shades so there's a shade for you out there 100 percent and then there's the liquid touching brightening concealer it's 19 dollars it's a moisturizing buildable concealer that melts seamlessly into the skin for undetectable cake-free coverage and it's also available in 48 shades so you're not gonna have any problem trying to find your shades I'm gonna check I'm going to test out and see how the undertones are I'm really thinking that this color 38 or 380w is going to be my shade but we'll get to that in a minute I want to take you guys through the box before I start I got my little brochure here so that I can read to you guys what um what it all is i'm just gonna like take these all out as i go so next you have these these are blushes i took a peek at these when i first got them yesterday because i was really excited about getting this package but you have four different blushes these are called the oh it's just called liquid they're just, they're just liquid blushes um so they, they come in these little packages here really cute i've really 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 been loving um liquid blushes the, lately like i have very dry skin so Anything that makes me look glowy and leaves me with that natural radiance, I love. And I'm not a huge powder user. If I use powder, it's just underneath my eyes to set my concealer. So I'm really excited about having some new blushes. I'm really curious about this one right here. I don't know if I actually use it today. Um, but this is the color Faith. I wonder if you can even put these like lip stains or even on your eye, on your eyelids. I don't know. But that color, Faith, is just a bomb to me. And so then you also have, these are liquid luminizers. And there's also four different shades of these. I love off the bat, like obviously with the 40 different shades of foundations and concealers, you also have different types of luminizers that go with uh, lighter skin complexions and deeper skin complexions. So I really like that like there's something for everyone in here um, Again, I would also probably maybe even use these on my eyelid on my eyelids I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, but um, I think it'll be really pretty. I'm really digging this color flaunt It's like a champagne -y Color so going further in the box these are the what is this liquid lip, but these are matte lip creams so I'm a huge fan of like creams. I'm not a big stickler on if you can, if they're transfer resistant because you just end up putting more on anyways, it doesn't bother me. And liquid lips, I'm very picky with, like, with liquid lips because I have such a dry like face and skin in general. Uh, liquid lips crack my lips like no other. Um, by the way, this video is not sponsored at all. They just sent me these in the mail. So anyways, you get, a you get one, two, three, four, five, six different lip creams. And then these ones right here, which I think I'll probably end up just swatching. It's gonna be a long video. But I think I'm gonna end up swatching all of the colors of the lips. Um, cause I think it'll be fun. But they come in little tubes like this. And this is the color compliment. Again, I'll probably end up just swatching all of these. But wow, it's like a nice, it's like a nice Christmas berry color. I love this. Perfect for fall. Um, so there's four of those colors and this packaging is so cute So it's like a little magnet there and it stays on like that, but really cute packaging and then lastly the drawer this one has brushes I'm just gonna pick it up 
Let me look at my little notebook here. Oh, by the way, let me go through the pricing for um, the stuff I just showed you previously. Oh, so, the liquid aluminizers, the positive light liquid aluminizers are $22. It's a silky secondhand liquid aluminizer that creates a lasting soft luminous finish. It's available in eight shades, so they sent me they sent me four, so there's four more left. Um, the blushes, these are soft pinch liquid blush, a long lasting blush that blends and builds beautifully for a soft, healthy flush. It's available in eight shades as well, so there's four more that I do not have here. With gratitude, do we lip? Oh, they're lip balms. <gasps> they're, this, this is why you read it, you guys. These are lip balms. And these are $16. These are with red to dewy lip balms. They're $16. A hydrating, fuss free lip balm that adds a hint of just kiss color and soft shine. Oh, I love, love, love a lip balm. If you guys know me, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should if you don't, you'll know that I rarely, I very rarely wear lipstick on a day to day basis. I, I'm getting all like dressed up with full glam makeup stuff. I'll definitely put on lipstick, but normally I just line my lips and throw on a lip balm so it's really nice to have a colored lip balm to wear every day because sometimes I do want a touch of color so yeah excited about that and then the lip souffle matte lip cream is $20 it's a whipped lip cream that delivers comfortable one stroke color with a vivid velvety finish available in 12 shades onto these brushes so this brush is the liquid touch foundation brush it's $28 a cruelty-free foundation brush packed with soft, silky bristles that build, blend, and buff. And then this is the Liquid Touch Concealer Brush. It's $16, and it's a cruelty-free concealer brush with a uniquely sculpted bristles and a pointed tip for precision coverage. So it should be able to fit right there into the eyes. So excited about that. This is the Illuminating Primer Base which I love. I love, like I said, I love glowy, I love a dewy look. And so this is perfect. It's, illuminate, it's an illuminating primer. I'm trying to find where it's at. Always an optimist illuminating primer. It's $26, a weightless universal gel primer enriched with an ultra fine pearls for a lit from within glow. So already about this, 100%. And then this one is Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. This is $24. A glow boosting mist that hydrates, primes, sets, and refreshes the skin. So this I'm probably gonna use during, or before and after. Before, during, and after, honestly. Excited about that. And then three more products. You have, um, this is the Brow Harmony Pencil and Gel. Oh, shut up. So it's a pencil on this side. See, it looks like that. And then if you unscrew it, it's a gel. Great. And then you have the Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner. This is $19. It's got a really nice fine pinpoint at the end. And this is a long wear waterproof liquid eyeliner formulated with ultra black pigment, ultra black pigments for the most dramatic definition every time. So I'm excited to use this. And last but not least, you have this Blot and Glow Touch Up Kit. This is $26. Um, it's a refillable compact. Oops. Oh, this is soft. <laughs> it says it's a refillable compact containing oil absorbing powder papers and a radiant power infused puff. Oh, there's powder already in it. What? I'm so interested. How does this have powder in it? I mean, it's kind of making my face not as, I'm, I don't know, I'm, this is very interesting though. So, those are all of the products. I want to read you this one thing that I think um, is Rare Beauty's mission. And it says, Rare Beauty is breaking down unrealistic standards for perfection. We will empower our community to challenge beauty norms by, sh beauty norms by shaping positive conversations about self-acceptance and mental health. Let's go! What? This makeup is made to feel good in without hiding what makes you unique because rare beauty is not about being someone else but about being who you are. So Lena Gomez, that's what I'm talking about. Bring in the mental health. Bring it in, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, let me t tidy up my desk here and then we'll get into the application. 
All right, so I have zoomed you in. We're just gonna go ahead and get into application. I'm going to first prime my face. Um, I think I'm gonna use this spray first. It's got a really fine mist, so I'm just gonna apply. All right, really nice mist. There is a fragrance, but it's not. It smells pretty good to me, like floral. I don't really know what kind of fragrance fragrance it's supposed to be, but it smells pretty floral, but like maybe rose, I don't know, don't. I'm not good with scents. I'm like, it smells good or it smells bad. That smells good to me. <laughs> All right, so next I'm gonna apply the Illuminizing, uh, Illuminating Primer. I'm just going to is kind of what it looks like that kind of has that color tint to it there's really no tint but I definitely see like the illuminating part of it so I'm just gonna apply this all over the face I'm gonna put it everywhere because I like to be pretty glowy everywhere it also feels very hydrating as well to me I'm just gonna press it in um, which I love hydration a lot. And it's starting to get tacky as well, so I know the foundation's gonna stick. So if you're new to my channel, I always do my eyes first, especially if I'm doing a liquid liner, because I feel like it's easier to fix the liquid liner. I'm not a professional at it, um, so I don't really trust myself to do my full face first, um, and then know that I'm not gonna have to fix anything. So for me, it's just easier to go ahead and get the eyes out of the way and since I am going to be using the liner I'm going to do really like simple just maybe um, a light brown in the crease and then just do a line um, so I'm going to take I like to prime with concealer I think I'm going to use the color I don't know they're all kind of similar they just have different undertones which I really appreciate I think I'm going to use this 400W concealer apply it on my eyes Um, I wet the beauty or like the beauty sponge here and it's massive it's so much like this is my hand it's so big so I'm just gonna use this it's nice and soft it's a really soft sponge it's like really really soft actually this has a, the doe foot on this is so interesting. Triangle. It's not all the way round either. It's so interesting. Look at that. I guess because you can go like that. I'm excited to put this actually on my face too. Just to see how the doe foot feels. I'm not going to lie. I think I might prefer my beauty blender a little bit more because I just like... I'm going to show you a dirty one. Sorry. I just like the shape. The better for on top of the eyes. But... It's not bad, I don't hate it. Now I'm just going to pop in a little bit of a brown color in my crease and I'll be right back. All right, I just kind of zoomed you in a little bit more on my eyes so that you guys can see. So I have the liner here, Perfect Strokes Felt, I think it's called a felt tip. Don't, don't go home and tell your mom that I'm right, because I don't know. So basically what I like to do is not talk a lot when I do my liner and I'm just gonna you're honestly you're honestly gonna be able to see like how easy I think that this is to use um, so let's just go ahead and try it out Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Wait a minute. Y'all. Y'all. What I look for in my personal 
like types of liners is I don't like to apply a lot of pressure to my my like eye when I do it because I feel like it just gets everywhere and I have a little bit of creasing on the sides of my eyes which makes it really hard for me to do like wing liners but I like there's one other eyeliner that I love that makes it so easy to put a liner on because you barely have to touch it and you can really get that precise shring you know shring I barely like I can it's so easy for me to put that little shring there because I barely have to press and I love that like I love it and it's it's matte it's black yeah are you kidding me Selena Like, is this re do y'all see that? And wait till I put um lash on. Like, do y'all see? I'm like showing you this side, like there's something on that. But wow. Okay, let me just try this side. That's the real question. How much are they gonna look like sisters, you know? But that's also could be me. But anyways, this this will be the true test. It's so good. It's so easy to use. It's so easy to use. Like, it's so easy to get that nice little shrink going on. This is so, so, so good. All right, I'm gonna go pop on some lashes um, and then we'll come back and finish off everything else. Okay, so I put a little bit of a lash on. I just used these or Ardell Wispies in Demi or the Demi Wispies. Can y'all see that wing? Like, are you kidding me? That was the easiest. I, I'm not just saying that, y'all. That, like, you saw it. That was so easy how I was able to accomplish just that wing. Okay, so so next we're gonna go into complexion. My face is still in, still feeling pretty tacky, which is good. So we can go ahead and get into it. I think I'm thinking my shade is going to be this 30 380W, which is kind of similar to. Um, oh, similar to the concealer shade that I liked. Um, so this is 380W and the dope. Ooh, she's she's kind of watery. Oh, because it said to shake first. That's on me. That's my bad. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. All right, we're gonna shake you around. Okay, the doe foot, it's kind of a watery consistency. I don't know if I messed it up, but even shaking it, it was kind of coming out. But this is what the doe foot looks like. It's one of those big boys right there. And then similar to the only one that I know, there's probably a ton, but the, the Clinique one. So I'm just gonna, I don't really know how much to use. It's like a perfect shade actually. Okay, I think that was a lot though. Then I'm gonna take the concealer brush and I'm just gonna buff this out. It's actually a lot more coverage than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just gonna be like, I would say this is like a medium. For me, this is medium to full coverage. Um, it's, a, <laughs> it's actually a lot more coverage than I thought. I like this brush too. Wow. Are you kidding? Y'all, look at this is, let me just finish. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Do you guys see that coverage? It's nice and glowy, but like it's still like, t on the camera it looks a lot more glowier, a lot more glowier, a lot more glowy than it looks on my face, but like it's got a nice finish. Let me just put a little bit more. I don't know what's going on with the, this though. It's like, it's, I don't know why, it's just like spilling. You scared me, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm just seeing if you can like build it at all. You definitely can. I'm not mad at Miss Lena at all. Should I do the other half with the sponge? Yeah, I'm gonna do the other half with the sponge. It smells a little bit like paint, which doesn't bother me, really. 
I don't feel like it's definitely made in the lab, you know. But wow, this this sponge actually, because it's so big, it covers a lot of space, which is nice. I like the sponge side too. I don't know. I like how fast I was able to do it with the sponge, with the sponge, just because like it's so big. I definitely like it more for the face. Uh, I'll do one side of with the concealer brush and the other side with the sponge as well, but I definitely like using it more on my face than I did on my eyelids. Just so you can see my skin. I think this is freaking amazing. This might be my new favorite foundation, to be honest. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It doesn't, it's just good. So now we're gonna do concealer. Again, I'm probably gonna go in with 380W. See how this feels on, uh, oh yeah, I like. <laughs> Selena, it just glides onto your face and it feels so creamy and soft. I'm shocked. And I feel really happy that my first review is going pretty well. All right, so I'm gonna use, I'm actually gonna spray a little bit of this just for fun. <laughs> Why not? It smells good actually. It smells better than like the foundation does, which again, the foundation smells like paint. Let's see what they're, they both smell like plastic kind of. So it's nice having that little refreshing of the, of the, the mist. All right. Let's go in underneath the eyes. I don't really use that many like, concealer brushes, to be honest. I have a couple, but I don't use them that much. I much prefer the way a sponge feels, you know? But I think this is nice. It's brightening up my under eye for sure. I think I would prefer, to be honest, a lighter concealer that's just my preference the concealer feels nice I would say it's like medium coverage oh I'm supposed to use a sponge on this side um and the sponge is really really like soft so you're able to manipulate it in whatever shape you want to yeah I would definitely say this is like medium let's see if we can build it let's see if I can build the coverage up a little bit Honestly, to be honest, actually, I'll wait to give my final thoughts towards the end. Concealer's on. I love the way my complexion's looking, though, to be honest. Like, it doesn't feel too heavy. It feels like I'm wearing makeup, not gonna lie. Like, I know that I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> I know that I'm wearing makeup. Um, so I don't really expect to not feel like I'm wearing makeup, but it doesn't feel... Like, I don't feel like I'm gonna take it off right now, you know? So... I'm a huge fan of everything that's going on right now. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I'm going to finish my complexion, do powder under my eyes. I'm just going to cream contour though, since I'm doing cream, all that kinds of stuff. Um, and then we'll come back and do eyebrows, blush, and then get into the swatches. Oh my God, this video is so long. <laughs> so I now have on a little bit of contour. Uh, I put a little bit of a brightening powder underneath my eyes and finish my lower lash line. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into blush. I don't know which blush to use because I'm pretty open since I went pretty simple with my eyes. Um, I'm thinking this one. I'm gonna use the blush in love. And again, I'm not sure. Huh, I don't really wanna mess up my look because I'm really liking it right now. Should I just put it on there? Should I put it, okay, I'm just gonna go for it. That's a lot. All right. I'm gonna take the butt of the beauty blender or the sponge. I think I did, but I wasn't trying to do, but it's fine. I have time to just blend. I, sh I think it, it dries really quickly. So I would just do one side first and then go in with the other. It's kind of pretty. It looks really pretty in person. It's definitely giving me, me that like sunburnt blush kind of look, which I really don't mind. Got lots of color in the cheeks too. Don't forget, I haven't forgot about my eyebrows, don't worry. I just doing it in a really weird order today, so. I actually blended. 
nicely. I feel like I look like a bronze god goddess. Like this blush gave me like a nice bronzy kind of look. Okay, we're gonna pause on the complexion really quickly and we're gonna do our brows. Because it doesn't have a spoolie, I'm just gonna grab just a spoolie that I have here. Um, just to brush up my eyebrows. I don't make a huge fuss out of my eyebrows, to be honest. Let me zoom you in. I haven't gotten my eyebrows done since the begin, like maybe a month before quarantine started. So, so it's been five months. I haven't got my eyebrows done in six months. So um, I'm just kind of letting them do them, which means like they're nice and fluffy anyways. So I don't have to do a whole lot. Um, so basically what I do, Oh, she's pigmented. Okay, I'm just gonna go in really lightly. I like that pencil, but it's very pigmented and very very like you don't have to put a lot of pressure on it to get the color out of it i'm gonna say i think the word's waxy but it's not like it's, it's not pulling out my eyebrows waxy it's more so just like it glides very easily um and so that's resulted in, i mean I, I i like my eyebrows the more i look at them the more i like them for sure i would just sometimes i would sometimes more prefer a brow that I can I mean I would say just take it down like to take it down like one level of glidiness and then it'd be perfect but I like the way my eyebrows look I like how they I, they have that sort of feathery look they're not perfect which I like that look so now I'm just gonna add this brow gel into it which is very pigmented as well so those are the brows I'm not mad I'm not mad at the brows at all Brows are done, let's go ahead and get to the last thing. We're gonna get into the liquid illuminizer. I'm gonna use the color Transcend, I think. Do y'all see my skin? No, let me stop. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use, maybe I'll use this one, Captivate, to kind of go with the bronzy look. I'm not gonna make the same mistake I did with the uh, blush, because it kind of made me nervous. It, it, it worked out perfectly, but I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand here and then just take my finger and kind of go on. Oh my gosh, that's like the easiest I've ever had an illuminizer go on my face. I'm gonna take the rest of my nose. And then, I just think that's beautiful. I kind of want to add just a little bit of brightness to my face. So I'm going to take this one in a flaunt and I'm going to put them back in my hand again. These feel very light and like whipped and it's just airy, like a really nice airiness to them. I'm just going to add that to the front. Are you kidding? Oh. Be a little too excited, that's okay. Just take your blender or your foundation brush and blend it up. I, I just think that that's so pretty. So pretty. It's dewy. Are you, what? Girls, what? Y'all see, y'all see auntie. Y'all see auntie and Selena. They know what's up. <laughs> All right. Almost done. We're gonna get into some lip swatches. I've used everything. Let's get into some lip swatches. I'm gonna swatch the lip balms first. So this first um, dewy lip balm, I'm gonna use, oh, this is just clear. Yeah, it feels nice. Mm. Oh, it smells like a, a cookie. It smells like sweet, sweet cookie. Next one is called Thankful. It's in like a brownish color. Mhm. Mm I like this one. This is a. This will be nice for every day. It doesn't do too much. 
like this my like I would just I'd be done I'd be so this is really nice thank thankful I'm thankful for you even though I just threw you on the ground by accident Next one is support and it's got oh this is like the Christmas color the red color and so this one's a bit more a lot more pigmented than the other ones yeah this is probably the most pigmented one up to this point and then this one oh this one is the red one I'm, I'm assuming that it's going to be pretty pigmented as well and this one's called compliment I think that's pretty too they feel really nice on the lips like really really nice I love it, I love it. okay so now let's get into these lip creams and then we're done so there's six of these bad boys I say we go from lightest to darkest so this first one is called inspire okay red's make me nervous <laughs> one swipe oh my god I love a muted red I think muted reds are so like timeless and elegant and I'm not gonna use any liner I'm just gonna use the tip of this to line my lips these feel so soft you guys these feel so good I don't even want to take them off. I don't want to take this off. I actually surprised myself that this is going so well because this is my first review and I was kind of nervous that I wasn't going to like it, but like, does this not look beautiful in the lips? And it feel, I wish you, it feels like velvet. Mmm. And butter. So good, okay. Let's go to the next color. All right, next color is Heroic. So this is Heroic, again feels the exact same, really easy to apply. I love how the applicator has that little point on the end, so it's really easy to like line your lips. <laughs> I like don't want to take this off. Okay, let's do the next color. This color is Transform. So this is Transform. All right, next color is Strengthen. Mm, so good. This is the color Strengthen. This next color is the color Fearless. This is a nice, this is fearless. This is a nice everyday color. I probably, I would wear this every single day. It's a nice nude for me. Looks like this in the tube, so I probably should've done this. Sorry, I didn't do that for the other ones, but. And this last color is the color Thrilling. And this is thrilling all right everyone so this is the final look we made it all the way through thank you if you're still here you go through all the products and just give you my final thoughts on all of them I guess that's what, that's what you do in reviews so let's start off with the I'm just gonna start with what I see not in any particular order um, I actually didn't spray my face let me set my face because you can set with this The more I spray this, the more I feel like there isn't really an actual fragrance to it, which I don't mind at all. I, I I consider face mist skincare, and when it comes to skincare, I really don't like a lot of fragrance in my skincare unless they're natural. And so I'm feeling like this either is just, it's just how it naturally smells. It's the only thing out of all of these products that has a scent that doesn't smell like, that's like an enjoyable scent. Like none of it smells terrible, to a certain extent, but this just like, mm, it smells pretty nice. So I really like this. Um, it's very refreshing on the skin and I don't really have anything, any bad things to say about this. The Illuminating Primer, 
I think it's really well, it really did well to hydrate my skin while also making it appear glowy. Like the glow from within, like it was saying, I think it was spot on with that. It was also very tacky, so I'm not very critical when it comes to um, uh, primers as long as they hydrate my skin. And I really wasn't expecting it to hydrate my skin. I thought it was just going to like have that like elevating sense to it, but it definitely made my skin feel really good and my skin feels very like refreshed and uh, moist. I hate that word. Oh, but it feels good. So I'm assuming part of it has to do with this. Um, going into the foundations. Absolutely love the foundations. I don't know what's going on with mine. I don't know if I like did something wrong, but um, just make sure you screw it on tight because if you do get it, I recommend you do get it because you guys can see my skin and just see how like even and doesn't look cakey it just and it feels really nice so i'm a huge fan of these i'm this is probably going to go into my everyday um makeup like one of my favorite foundations i've ever tried and i'm i'm not super picky on foundations but if i find one that i like i it's really hard for me to like stray from it so good it blended so easily it's a perfect match to my skin huge fan so the concealers, I think they're probably the most underwhelming thing for me. Not that they're bad at all. I think, well, first of all, the one thing I do love about these concealers is how they felt, how it felt going on my skin. It glided on, it felt like literal butter. I think butter is honestly like the word for this whole collection because everything just feels so nice in the skin. But I do like the doe foot and I do like how light and airy and buttery the concealer feels. Um, but I didn't feel like there was that much coverage that I like. It was buildable for sure, um, but it didn't like spot on wow me, which a lot of these products did. So I don't dislike the concealer at all. Like I think it's pretty good, but it wasn't like my favorite thing from the collection, but they're good. I do like this brush. I think this brush is amazing to pack on and buff out your foundation. Um, I am a fan of the sponge. I think I like, I, I thought it was gonna be a problem like how soft it was, but it's really easy to like maneuver into whatever shape you want it to be um, and I do think that the best thing for this is applying your foundations because it's really big and it can get all over your face really quickly and also it was good at blending out the, bl the blush very well so I do like the sponge I like this um, this I used when I went to go uh, contour I used really a lot like down my nose I prefer the sponge for under my eyes um, I might I could possibly use this for like contour placement as well but I mean it's not a bad brush this is something that I don't see myself using that much but if you like brushes for your concealer and stuff um, this is a good one as well when it comes to the blushes um, I think that this the color what I use do I use love yes I use this one right yeah the color love is really pretty it gave me that like sunburnt kind of look um, so I really really enjoy these I would just say apply one side first I would just honestly a dot will do you just good and if you feel like you need more than add as you go but do one side first and then do the other side because they dry pretty quickly in my opinion um, so blushes good the illuminators fire I loved being able to incorporate the darker and the lighter one to give that pop at the front of my face and then have the rest just kind of going back applying with your my fingers felt really nice they're not heavy at all they felt like 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 slippery water in a good way I don't know if that sounds good but to me that's good like it just felt like water going on my skin easy to blend out easy to make it look natural and glowy and all those good stuff um the where is the, the liner you guys know this is so easy to use if you like that winged outliner look which i do like ask my husband he knows that's my favorite thing to do because it's so simple this liner is amazing very easy you don't have to do um a wing liner obviously but i think that the fact that i could do a wing liner so easily just do a regular line if i needed to it's easily accomplished with this so huge fan of this definitely adding this to my bathroom um because my bathroom's like the top door of my bathroom is what I like my everyday makeup and I'm definitely adding that and the foundation actually there's a lot of things I'm adding to that um the brow is probably going into the uh concealer category it, like I, I love how my brows look like I think they look amazing they look nice and fluffy and full um I just know that I have like my favorites and I don't really see this one kind of replacing my favorites but it's definitely good it's, like I said very very pigmented um, use a light hand 
Um, and but I do like that it's duo side for the brow gel and the um, light like the brow liner thing, whatever you call it. Um, so yeah, I mean, again, it didn't disappoint me, but it wasn't something that I'm like, oh, I need to put this in right now. So that's that. The lip balms, huge fan. I'm more of a fan of the lighter ones, like Honor and Thankful are the two ones that I'm more of a fan of because they are the lesser pigmented ones, which is what Thankful does for me the most. It gives me that touch of color, which I'm definitely adding this to my drawer in my bathroom because it kind of takes away that stuff of me having to add the liner and then the lip balm. It just comes in this one little compact, so huge fan of this. And then these, you guys, if there's any, I don't know. I think if there's anything from this collection that I would say go get if you like lipsticks, and you guys, I explained this to you already. Like I'm not like a crazy lip fan, but the fact that these, what I love about them is that they're colorful, but they're not like boom in your face. Like they're very, in a, they're muted in a way, which I really, really like. Like I love a, like a, a red lip, but some, I feel like I can't wear a red lip all the time because it's like way too in your face. But this is very muted and really pretty and soft. So I like that a lot and they feel like nothing on your lips. They feel so good on your lips. They're soft and buttery. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Actually, that's not bad. It's really not bad for, for a red uh, lipstick. So I'm a huge fan. I would, I would say if anything, this go and get and maybe the illuminizers go and get and the liner and the foundation and <laughs> okay i just want to say that nothing in this um nothing in this makeup line really disappointed me at all it was very easy to use i had a lot of fun using it i have my favorites i have my ones that i can live without but this is a pretty successful launch i feel like for selena and also i really love uh, Rare Beauty's mission. Um, you guys know that mental health hits really home for me, so um, I'm very thankful that they have put that into consideration when coming out with their line. I think it's the Rare Beauty Fund is what's um, all of the initiative. The Rare Beauty Fund is pushing the initiative for just loving yourself and being okay with who you are and loving your own beauty because everyone is rare. I guess that's what their mission is. It sounds like it's sponsored, but it's not. I just learned it from reading this. But I know this is such a long video, so I thank you guys for watching this. I hope you all enjoy it. If you like videos like this, more reviews, please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and like this. That's the same thing as thumbsing this up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notifications button so that you know when I upload. I try to upload at least once a week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.